kind of disturbing because like some of the things that he's frustrated about with Christine, he did to me. Oh, he wants to work on it with Christine, but not me. If people are just tired of trying and they don't want to work it out, then I need to know. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. How is everyone? Okay, I have been so like lost in my eye lately, but this video is going to be dedicated to turtles because so many of you in the comments yesterday were like obsessed with the turtles. So I just wanna put this out there that this video is for the turtles. Most of this video will be videos of turtles. I was looking over at Mary Brown's Instagram, because sometimes I do that. And I was thinking about how Chris, she was the first wife of Cody. And she grew up, well, her dad converted to polygamy into Mormon fundamentalism when she was like, I don't know, six or seven years old, she says. And he went on to have like five wives or something like that. And Mary had has a lot of family that are still in this church. She's got um, several sisters that are members of the Apostolic United Brethren. And Mary has always had a fairly close relationship to her siblings. And for a lot of people, they didn't really understand why Mary stuck around for as long as she did. Frankly, we don't really know what was going on with Mary. We don't know if she left five years ago. But from a polygamy standpoint, the reason why she stuck around was because of her belief in the faith that she has to be with a man in order to get into heaven and that she believes that she has been sealed to Cody for time and all eternity. Okay. And when they get married and they're sealed for time and all eternity, it means that a man can go on and take as many wives as he wants in this belief system, but a woman cannot. And even if he leaves her and they stay married and he abandons her, they're still considered married for time and all eternity. So a lot of women end up staying in limbo where they're not even really in a functional relationship, but then they're still married in eternity and they stay there because they believe that when this life is over, they will go to heaven. So for Mary, she stayed as long as she did more than likely because of her belief system. Now, over on Instagram, she's been talking about how she's not a polygamist anymore. I don't know where she stands in the faith, but she recently took a, uh, a trip to London and she posted a ton of stuff on her Instagram about all the different things that she went to and did in London. Now, I want to know note that a lot of the quotes that Mary has been doing and pushing, Mary has gotten herself involved in yet another multi-level marketing scam allegedly well i will think i am in my opinion it's a scam she's been working with this guy, woman named diane delgado that pretends like she gets people famous and maybe she get, makes them wealthy and it's kind of like a multi-level marketing like coaching organization and so mary's sort of like underneath this woman's wings now and she's like doing her own like coaching inspiration and she was with diane when she was in London. Now, again, these are my opinions. Don't sue me, Diane, for having an opinion. I just don't believe that, you know, when you have to recruit people to become a coach and then you're a coach just because someone told you a coach, it's just such a messy di dynamic. And Utah, I was actually watching Mormon Stories podcast and they were interviewing, I don't know, he had a, an attorney on there that was talking about how Utah has so many MLMs and fraud and Ponzi schemes and per capita than uh, other parts of the country and that like from the top down there's this sort of like inherent uh, scheme within their belief system or within their government where like fraud is a component of it and I don't know why and the the attorney couldn't explain it either you if you want to know what I'm talking about go to the most recent episode where they talk about uh, the whistleblower that uh, was on 60 Minutes on Sunday where they talked about all the money that the LDS church is hoarding away while their members are tithing and cleaning temples to get 
temple recommendations and going without food so that they can tithe and going without medicine so they can tithe and the, they've got like a stockpile of 150 million dollars so but in that video he was talking about you know the fraud that perpetuates utah and he didn't have an explanation for it so one thing that mary was doing while she was in there it was like cl claiming like she was manifesting finding new men or manifesting men or manifesting something she's talking about or flirting with the idea of dating and she's been doing this for i don't know a couple weeks now where she's wants us to believe that she's going to move on and this would actually be a pretty significant step if it's true again you can't i don't know if i believe everything that i see on social media because frankly unfortunately there's a lot of misdirection with this show and so one day i think i'll see something and you just don't know you don't know if this is a storyline or if they really have given up and she is going to date and the reason why this would be really significant would be because under her belief system if she stays in her belief system and she hasn't gotten a release from cody uh, he can destroy her if she moves on so let's uh dive into this topic before we do can you please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up also please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below make sure to click on the bell if you'd like to get notified before i go live and new content loads leave a comment if you have something to say and share this video with your friends mary was literally talking about how she's going to manifest manifest finding men in london now she's not i don't think she actually manifested this but she posted an in instagram story where she was talking about manifesting so her her story said when you joke with the universe and say you want to meet a bunch of guys in london it jokes right back these are on the wall at my hotel room of the trip manifest wisely so she's manifesting meeting a bunch of guys and it's a bunch of men in old photographs on her wall at her hotel room and she also shared some statuses on her instagram where again she's being very i don't know um inspirational but she she left london and she said well london you've been quite good to me indeed business accomplished dreams fulfilled memories made lots of good food many miles walked times with amazing friends solo reflections and grand adventures and now back home where i can jump in full force to the business plans created here I'm so excited for the future, so excited to see my plans and goals come to fruition and my dreams become reality. Worthy up. So she's really diving into this worthy up. Okay, so her and Jen on their Fridays with friends have been joking about how she's going to go out on dates and they've been joking about how she's going to manifest new men and she's been talking about how she's no longer a polygamist and she's at this transitional place. And then today... Uh, Mary ended up throwing a little shade at Cody by po posting this. Never apologize for having high standards. People who really want to be in your life will rise up to me. He posts a lot of these quotes, and I've noticed over the years that while a lot of people will say these are just MLM quotes, she almost always posts them no matter what's going on in her life, and she always posts them in relation to what's going on in her life. For the last several years, it's been all about like feeling sad or not being seen or, you know, not people don't know the whole story. And now that we know that most of the, sh the show is staged, we didn't know the whole story. I mean, now we do. The show is fake and Mary and Cody's relationship is over. But I think Mary is trying to find her identity, right? So one of the big questions for a lot of fans that watch the show is that why was Cody so upset with Mary's catfishing? And was the catfishing storyline real? The, the storyline was unfortunately real because this catfish is obsessed with Mary and still spends time online talking about Mary today. I don't want to give them a breath of air by even discussing what that whole thing was. But Mary getting involved with this online relationship, even though it was not a man, and even though it ended up turning out to be a catfish, felt very real to her. And if this person had been real, she probably would have gotten up and left Cody. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And then Mary sort of ended up backtracking over time and trying to say, no, I wasn't going to leave Cody and no, this or that. And Cody kept calling it an affair. 
Mary never met this person. Never, well, I guess met them when they were playing a different character, you could say. But Mary never, like, physically met the guy that she thought that she was supposed to be dating, okay? There was no, there was maybe an emotional affair, but there was no physical affair, okay? And in the world of polygamy and Mormon fundamentalism, what this group follows is called Doctrine and Covenants 132. This covenant, Doctrine and Covenants, was written by Joseph Smith not long after he had been found out to be living the world of polygamy and Emma had caught him cheating on her with a little with a young girl in a barn. And he also got exposed by some of the members of his church uh, who found out that D Joseph was basically marrying himself to other wives, their wives, while they were out on missions. So Joseph was sending them out to the field uh, to, to prophetize for the church, and then Joseph was sealing himself to these wives. And he ended up having to explain this away by deciding that the Lord spoke to him and told him that polygamy was why and he dove back into the old testament and pulled out some foolery and decided that because a few people in the old testament had multiple wives that he was going to use that as his decision that he was going to have multiple wives and then he created this ludicrous like idea about how many wives you have to have and all these concubines that you're going to receive. And he refers to the women as concubines. So when you hear us talk about concubines, that's because it's the actual word in the Doctrine and Covenants. So as a part of this Doctrine and Covenants, they follow what's called the Rule of Sarah. And that is because in this doctrine, he talks about how Sarah goes out and gets Abraham a wife named Hagar, and then they have go off and have a bunch of kids, okay? And it was Sarah that brought... Abraham, his new woman. And so the all red group, the AUB, follows this doctrine where the wife has to play a part of it, technically. But then there's also rules they can get around where the guy can still find a wife even if the woman's not involved. So there's a lot of like ways to get around things. And Cody was probably the kind of guy that found women for himself. There's all these rules within this about how, you know, he, he goes through all of these explanations about why it's acceptable for him to have all of these wives. And he explains like all these different people in the Old Testament that had extra wives and, and that in order to do this, you're going to create this huge celestial kingdom where you'll become a god, okay? And you can only do this if you take on plural wives. And again, I want to remind people that this was the like one of the last ones that he made before he end up, ended up dying. And it was basically his way, in my opinion, to try to explain why he kept cheating on his wife, Emma. But part of this, there's a lot of hypocrisy in this Doctrine and Covenants. So in this belief system, according to the way that Joseph wrote this, a man can take as many wives as he wants, and as long as he goes to a temple and gets sealed for time and all eternity and says that she's his wife, even though legally she's not, then he is not committing adultery on the woman, okay? A woman cannot commit adultery, period. Like, if a woman were to go off and try to be with another man, she can't, because once she's sealed to a man, she's the man's. The man can go out and try to get as many women as possible, she can't. There's actually a part of it, uh, of the Doctrine and Covenants, it's uh, ver like verse 41, he says, And ye, and as ye, have we asked concerning adulter adultery, verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man receiveth a wife in the new and everlasting covenant, and she be with another man, and I have not appointed unto her by the holy anointing, she hath committed adultery, and she shall be destroyed." So a woman, if she has been already been put into an everlasting covenant, he says, Joseph, this is his rules, that, and he's acting as though God is telling him this, okay? And that if she goes off and gets with another man, but she was not sealed in a relationship with that, and the God or the church didn't appoint that relationship and anoint them, 
then she has been committing adultery and ultimately she can be destroyed destroyed and by destroying they discuss blood atonement a few more lines down the line and it says if she not be in a new and everlasting covenant and she be with another man she has committed adultery and if a husband be with another woman and he is under a vow he hath broken his vow and hath committed adultery so a man can only commit adultery if he doesn't go for the ceiling so basically a way for them to get around committing adultery is to pretend like they're sealed to these people for time and all eternity which again is my opinion as to why this was created it was a way for him to get out of his infidelity so basically the guy can take as many wives and sleep with as many women as long as somebody says to him that they've been sealed for time and all eternity mary can't so cody couldn't get over the fact that she had this emotional affair because to him in his belief system mary is his property and in his belief system he is sealed to her for time and all eternity and regardless that cody can like abandon her and go and sleep with all of his concubines she cannot do the same he can go off and add all these new wives he can go and scope new wives he can go on the hunt for new wives but mary if she does the same will be destroyed and so there are some specific sins that they will say are not atonable like they have this strange belief that jesus came to the earth but did not atone for all of our sins and so if you're Christian and they claim to be Christians, the LDS, they say that Jesus did not do that. Jesus dying on the cross was not enough and that there are some sins that you have to actually atone with by giving your own life. And by doing that, you slit your throat and you have to disembowel yourself. And so they would say in the, in the case of adultery, this would be a sin that jesus did not atone for and that that's why the woman could be destroyed and so theoretically cody could have told mary that she needs to blood atone the sin gross right so instead of doing that he just held it over her head and uh made her pay for it by him being really cruel to her for a very long time and saying really humiliating things about her publicly and not allowing her to leave. And again, because of their belief system, she believed she was with him for time and all eternity. And he believed he was with her for time and all eternity. And she can only leave if she goes to the church and asks for a release. And she has to be able to have a reason for why she's asking for the release. She has to prove that he's done something so terribly that the brethren would actually approve the release. They can go to releases and ask for releases all the time, and they might not give the release. Mary, unlike met, like many women, probably didn't seek a release because to her, if she were to give up release, then she would have to go find someone else. She's going to give up her eternity. And then she's also going to give up the potential of seeing her family in the afterlife. So Cody could have destroyed Mary, theoretically, by doing the blood atonement, but he didn't. Um, other members in this church have threatened this allegedly in the past. Cody's best friend, Kyle Henderson, according to court records, uh, threatened his soon to be ex-wife with blood atonement because she received a text message from a friend from high school that was not of any nature beyond just like a congratulatory text message about their daughter being engaged. And he believed that was worth atonement according to court records filed by Nicole. And so for him, he told her, you need to atone for this. And when she didn't do that, then she alleged that he did a horrible amount of DV to her. So they believe in blood atonement in the AUB. And so there's also a level of fear for women of leaving because they don't know if their husbands are going to do something to them to atone for them. Or if they don't atone, will their husband come and atone them? Even though it's something that's used as a threat, it's enough of a threat to keep people feeling paralyzed and scared. And a lot of people that I talk to that are from this world talk about all the fear that they live in, which keeps them trapped in this group. So for Mary to now be talking about manifesting and finding new men and going out and trying to find dates, 
that's a huge step for her because in this belief system, if she were to stay in this belief system and, and still believe she was sealed to him for time and all eternity, she could never date again, ever. But he could. So this tells me that she believes that she's not with him for time and all eternity. And she is at least on the surface appears to be abandoning that aspect of her faith. So I hope that Mary does leave this faith behind. And I hope she does find happiness and love. And as much as this family has lied to us, I think anyone that comes out of it deserves to find happiness and deserves to find love. And I hope that Mary can get out of this without getting taken advantage of by other people in the MLM business and as without taking advantage of other people. I hope she also gets into therapy because what Cody has put her through is hell. So uh, this was my brief synopsis about the beliefs of the AUB on blood atonement, on Doctrine and Covenants 132, and Mary provingly, seemingly proving that she doesn't believe in this part of it anymore uh, and that she is throwing shade at Cody. And Cody probably in a lot of ways is fuming. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.